We're both wearing our Body Brave shirts because I work at Body Brave and Katie's on the committee. On the board. On the board. <laughs> Hi everyone. Welcome back to Cynthia's channel and Fat Fridays with Katie. That's what I'm calling it now. Ooh, how are you? I'm good. I'm excited to talk about this. Okay. We're talking about fat and eating disorders today. So, Katie sent me three articles two weeks ago, and we were just rushing to read them now because we're both busy people. So, the first article was on the Lily, and it's called Fat and Anorexic. Everyone praised me for my weight loss, but I was sicker than I've ever been. And it's written by Maggie Spare. Okay, so... What did you think? Um, this one was really interesting to me because I think that's a common question that people have is what she's asking and what she googled even was can I be fat and anorexic? Um, and it seems the internet pretty much said no. <gasps> um, and that really invalidated her experience of being a, per a person in a larger body who did have um, anorexia or was experiencing those symptoms. So, yeah. um, what do you think? Um, so if you, I think in the last video I also mentioned that I have in the past struggled with eating disorders. I say eating disorders because I had in many different forms. And then I moved to Canada and I was still anorexic, but I was gaining weight really quickly too. So like, yeah, it was never like no one, when I started gaining the weight, people were actually worried mm -hmm. that I was overeating or like, oh my God, you've gained so much weight. You let yourself go, mm -hmm. all this fun stuff. And I was still like starving myself and I was mm -hmm. still pretty sick at that point but people were more worried that i was gaining weight than like you're not eating no one ever said mm. why aren't you eating mm -hmm. it's just like yeah so when you were losing weight people weren't as worried as when you were gaining weight. yeah when i was losing weight people were like oh my god your body yeah so um did you find any part of this really interesting i think so Maybe you can like put a picture up of it, but yeah. like, so it's actually a, it's a comic. It's kind of hard to see on our little You phones. can go forward. Um, but this one? Yeah, that, that part. So, so part of the comic is, is saying, you know, she's losing weight due to anorexia mm -hmm. and people thought it was like this. So it's saying things like ha she's, she's happy. She feels healthy, confident, proud strong but it, but then it was more like this and she's got a picture that says depressed hasn't eaten in four days hair falling out weak self-harm all these things it's like there's this picture of what it's supposed to look like when you're losing weight um uh, as somebody in a larger body losing weight it's like oh of course you're happy and confident and you're getting what you want and all of these things but the reality of it most of the time um, and in her case in particular is that you are depressed and your body is kind of falling apart. Yeah. Um, and I, I think like not having, I haven't had the experience of an eating disorder, but having, you know, engaged in diet culture for many years and, um, it's you, when you're getting that kind of feedback of like, oh, you look so healthy. Oh, yeah. You look so good. It just feeds that kind of um, mentality of dieting. Yeah, and you feel like you need to go keep going. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the comments you get when you first start losing weight puts a lot of pressure on you so you can't stop. Because mm -hmm. you're just like, everyone will notice when I, if and when or if I gain weight back. Mm -hmm. Fat people don't get a lot of kindness, so compliments can feel like kindness. Mm -hmm. Like superficial compliments can feel mm -hmm. like kindness, and you're yeah. just like, yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you, you, like, you want to prove yourself. You want to keep getting those positive comments. Yeah. Um, but like a lot of, and I don't know, you let me know because you've had the experience of it, but like dieting to me a lot of the time was just, it was, first of all, it was so hard. And you're just constantly thinking about it, like what you're putting in your mouth. And for me, it was a lot also about like, I was never very good at dieting. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just ate what I wanted to a lot of the time, but I felt so guilty mm. when I did that. That's why you have the, what is it called? Cheat meal. Right. So you have some... Eat. <clears throat> The cheat day or the yeah cheat, turns into the cheat week or whatever yeah i was really good at dieting because like i'm stubborn is mm -hmm. how i'm going to put it because i'm not going to say i'm disciplined that's another way to reinforce dieting but i'm i was just like yeah so i would spend it takes a lot of your life too and you're not really socializing doing or like i can't go to i can't go out with people because they're all going to be like getting sushi or whatever yeah, or like like, and, like i can't do that because of the calories i'm still an annoying orderer at like restaurants because hmm. i'm very specific about things i like but like i was extra super annoying hmm. when yeah because i just be like does this have this or that or that or that and then I'd end up with the same thing every single time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and here, this is kind of like a an offshoot to this conversation, but in here in Canada, I don't know if they do it in the States, but they've put calories on all, like all major restaurants. If you have a franchise, you have yeah. to have calories, which is like so easy for people with eating disorders to perpetuate that yeah. behavior, right? Yeah. What's also interesting about calories that I learned was that I think we talked we've talked about this before. I don't know off on camera or not, but um, that calories the calorie content that's listed is actually like a basically a guess or like a oh yeah we we did this off camera oh did now we? it's on camera <laughs> yeah yeah it's like a it's like um they they take the calories in one bean or whatever and then they'll like extrapolate that to the meal um but like that one bean can be a different size than another bean and even one bean that's the same size could have different amounts of calories mm -hmm. so like the actual caloric information isn't really accurate so no like it's, it's just all bullshit <laughs> like basically listen to katie <laughs> seriously like Oh, and just the whole, like, a lot of people, I see this online a lot when they're fighting against, like, fat hate, will say, like, oh, I could be fat and healthy, too. And I'm like, it's not anyone's business if you're fat and healthy or if you're skinny and healthy. Or, like, we shouldn't have to justify our pres presence and our existence by being like, oh, but I work out all the time. Mm -hmm. And I used to do that, like at a doctor's office they'll be like oh we think you need to lose weight and i'm like oh i actually do these things and i mm. eat these things and i'm like why do i have to justify my existence just to get to be respected or mm -hmm. be treated like a human being just mm -hmm. enough or to get that. medical care yeah very minimum asks and it's like you have to justify mm -hmm. who you are yeah i mean we could go on a whole tangent about fuck health, um, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we could. I mean, it's because, like, do we do we owe the world healthy? I kind of think of it similarly to, like, do we owe the world pretty? Like, no, we don't no. owe anyone those things. Yeah. Thank you so much for yeah. watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I keep forgetting to ask and beg you guys to subscribe. Subscribe. So, subscribe. subscribe. Turn subscribe. on your notification bell. Like, comment. Let us know. Like, I know I asked for this and no one replied last time. So I'll ask again. Let us know what topics you want us to talk about. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Bye. Um, I'm so sorry that the audio sucks. In this video, I I mounted my mic.
and it looks really nice, but I forgot to connect it to my camera. So I'm sorry <laughs> about that. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye.